Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of a product from a company called SoJoy. This is their universal 12 volt heated car seat cushion warmer. Now it has a uh, temperature control box that has low, medium, and high on there with different indicator LEDs. I'm going to show you that. It has an automatic 45 minute timer. We'll, we'll shut the unit off after 45 minutes. It has a universal fit with straps and uses a standard 12 volt cigarette lighter plug that most cars have in the US and Europe. And it has a quick three minute warm up time. We're gonna test that. And breathable polyester fabric with padding so that it adds comfort to your seat. Now they say it goes up to 115 degrees surface temperature and we're gonna try and measure that, see how, how warm it gets. It's about 38 inches by 19 by a half of an inch thick. Now you can see what the unit comes with. In front of me you have an instruction manual and the unit itself. I'm going to kind of zoom in here, move the camera to show a closer view. You can see I have a 12 volt power supply right there and I have the included plug plugged in. And then here is the actual controller. So if you hit it once, it defaults to high. Hit it again, goes to medium, and then the third time it goes to green low. So we're going to put it on high, and we're going to test the temperature of this unit. We're going to let it heat up for three minutes, and then we're going to use the thermal gun to measure the temperature on here. Now going over the material, it's very nice, polyester, and it has padding you can feel. That's where the half inch depth comes from. And on the back of this, it has all these little tiny, what feel like silicone rubber dots. And that's very effective at holding this thing in position on your seat. Then you can see on the top, it has a nice strap that you can remove and click back and adjust the tension on your headboard. And then if you slide down further, it has straps on the bottom that you can clip onto most cars have a pull bar in the front seat that allow you to move the seat forward and back and we're going to attempt to put that on there and you can see it, it is a flexible stretchy type of strap to hold it in place and then if you turn this over to the back you can see it has a back strap that is not flexible but is designed to be tightened with the strap and this is going to go around the back of your seat to allow it to hold it into place now let's put this back here and we're going to check some of the temperatures uh, before i do that just so you know there is a 12 volt typical cigarette lighter plug here we're going to take that out and talk about there is an internal fuse in here so if you plug this unit in it doesn't function you might have blown the fuse so it's very simple all you do is unscrew that phillips head screwdriver from that nut right there this will separate and then right in the front here is your standard fuse just make sure you look at the fuse rating on here and you match the fuse size and the glass type that's on there it's pretty much an industry standard let's plug this back in right here you can see it has a nice LED and then let's put this back on to high which is the red setting so we have a thermal gun and we're going to look at first what the table temperature is you can see with the LED there it's about 67 degrees on the table so you can tell that the heat is coming off the center panels so if I go right there it shows it as 84 degrees and then here's 89 degrees almost 90 degrees and if I go to the back portion right here it's about 88 degrees and then it starts to taper off towards the, the back of the unit and then these little pads right here are also heated about 85 degrees and then the end right here drops off and tapers to a lower temperature 
So what you can see is that they're cleverly heating this area right here, and this area then lasts this area very little, if any, and then concentrates the heat right here and a little less on the bottom. So that when your body is against this, with your insulation of your body, it'll produce a nice even heat flow to be very effective. Lay this in place, and you can feel that stays in place just by the little grippers on there. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to attach this top part around. Headrest, and then we're going to pull that strap so it provides tension. And then we have the, the middle strap, which we're going to place around the seat, so it to the back of the car. We're going to pull that tight. Go back to the car. And now what we have left is this front strap right here with the hooks. And we put those right on. There. Now it's on the bar. So now it's secure. And we could uh, start the car and get the heat going. And the question feel it on your back. That's the first place I feel it. Because your back sometimes gets cold. So it feels really good. It's comfortable. It's not moving around. It's in place. Very simple to install. It takes you maybe five minutes to install. And you're done. Very simple. So what do I think about this Ojo Universal 12 volt car seat heated cushion cover. I like this product. It's basic, simple, seems to be pretty durable the material. And as you see, I tried it in my car seat and it held in place. I drove around and I used it for a while and I like the way it feels. When you're going into your car in the winter time, even if your car is in the garage, this is a nice way to warm up your car. Turn this unit on, start your car, wait a couple minutes while you're cleaning your windshield, let's say from snow, then when you sit down in the car, you actually feel this. And it's amazing how fast you do feel that heat on your back. So I like this product. I'm going to give it a full five-star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're alerted to new video uploads. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.